So now that we have learned about the different methods that we can utilize to get specific elements from our component, and we learned about the differences between them, let's start talking about the attribute portion of those methods. So for example, if I did get by, well, I can get by multiple different attributes, alt text, display value, label text, placeholder text, role, test ID, text, and title. Now, which one should I be primarily utilizing? And more often than not, we can actually get a specific element by multiple attributes. So we can either get it by the role or the text or the test ID. Now, which one should I be utilizing? Now in React Testing Library and any testing for that matter, we want to mimic the user interaction as much as possible inside of our tests. So for the attributes that we will be utilizing, we will follow that approach as well. So we are going to be utilizing as much as possible the attributes that are accessible to every user inside of our application. So things like get by role. So this gets by the role of the element. So is the element a heading or is the element a button? And that stuff like that is very accessible to our user. And that is essentially what they are going to be looking for. They're going to be looking for a button and then they're going to go ahead and click on it. And we can actually use get by role and specify the name or and the text that is within that element in that same method. So this is very, very common, and this is going to be mimicking our uh, users directly. We can also do things like get by label text for forms, which is again, something that mimics what users will ultimately be doing, get by placeholder text or get by text. So this is the top priority, but if we can't utilize these, then we start using semantic queries. So these are things that our users ultimately won't be seeing, but they can't be read by screen readers. So something like get by alt text or get by title. So semantic queries, those fall in the second priority. Now the last priority is get by test ID. And this is because our users will really never see the test ID and they never are going to find elements by a specific test ID. And similarly, screen readers, they don't really look for test ID. So this is last priority and last resort if you can't query for our element in any other way. So that is pretty much it. And that pretty much concludes the theory, I promise. Now we're actually gonna go ahead and start coding out our test and utilizing these different methods.